It's a reunion that was more than seven decades in the making this morning at the Toronto Reference Library. And it was a chance to help support a project aimed at preserving the past for Toronto's Chinese community. CTV's Scott Lightfoot explains. Okay, you guys, you look at the cameras. It's not the first time this group has posed for a photo, but it's certainly been a long time. It was 1945 that it was taken. A preschool graduation picture taken in Toronto. There are nine children here, and we was taken at the Chinese Canadian Institute. The kids were five. They are now 76, all in good health and excited to reconnect. It's really amazing. I'm, I'm, they've changed some, and you know, but we still recognize each other. Though some haven't seen each other in 71 years. Nelson. Lucy. Yeah, Lucy, Lucy. Yeah. Today they gathered to catch up and to help support a new project aimed at preserving the past. The GTA has the largest Chinese community in Canada, but there's nothing that documents their history in this country. That's something they're hoping to change here with the launch of the Chinese Canadian Archive Project. The archive, which launched this month, is looking for documents, photos and stories on the history of Chinese Canadians from 1878 until today. From the growth of Toronto's Chinatown to the head tax, it aims to be a record of the community's evolution. For these nine, it's a history they've lived. Seeing the old community and the houses, of course, they're gone, and the school I went to is gone. Yeah, everything's changed. I mean, a lot more taller buildings and so forth, but there was a lot of memories there, though. A lot of memories. And a history they're now proud to share with future generations. Scott Lightfoot, CTV News.